instructions of how to use the my comms and the directions how to uh, uh, turn it on how to uh, how to read it and we're using the MT90s for our examples um, <clears throat> the most important thing is that if you never had um, use um, any tracker any any device you probably don't have a USB to serial driver which is for the cables uh, loaded and that is a must you have to load it a driver in order to get this working okay <clears throat> um, let's say let's run the uh, 2.227 versions <clears throat> let's plug in the MT90s with the cables first and then the trackers come up And then let's run the uh, MyComs 2.2722. As the tracker comes up, um, we see the port it has here, which is automatic detect, and then the uh, device. And as everything goes, uh, it would display uh, CSQ, what's the string for it, and beginnings, uh, it tells you the, uh, um, the uh, uh, IMEI numbers as well as uh, what's the uh, firmware version numbers. Let me just turn it off right now. And turn it back on. Let's come back on. <coughs> I my numbers and then the firmware numbers. And then CSQ, which is the uh, uh, GSM's receptions. Um, anything with a double digit is good. And then that's the uh, GPIOS and connected <coughs> with, with the server. And as you notice, know, it's sending out uh, uh, commands back in into the server, and there. <clears throat> That's all we need to to see it in order to uh, to to save it. Either do a save or save as, and it, it will save it. Save it. Let's say save it in the desktops, so that. You could forward that to uh, anybody who's troubleshooter or uh, any technicians that need to see what you see.